dear students now we have come to the physics lab to perform the experiment on the galvanometer so what are we going to perform we are performing two things first we have to find the resistance of this galvanometer by half deflection method and the second one to find the figure of merit of the galvanometer in my concept part i have explained nicely the what is figure of merit so you please see uh, click the link in the description box and learn the concept very well to understand this experiment so figure of merit is the amount of current required for the one full one scale deflection so what is figure of merit you know about it now aim of the experiment you know apparatus required this is a daniel cell what is a daniel cell the copper sulfate blue color is the electrolyte solution and it is copper rod as positive and zinc rod as negative so this is my zinc rod and this is my copper rod remember one thing daniel cell emf is in the range of 1 volt 1 to 1.1 volt for the fresh one now why are we using a cell which has very low emf because we don't require high current you know very well galvanometer can manage a very very feeble current maximum up to 1 milliamp so almost all currents are in microamps therefore we don't require a high energy source so daniel cell one quality of daniel cell is it has got a consistent role to play meaning the current will not the voltage will not come down it will consistently be there for a long time and the current which is given maximum current given by the daniel cell is 100 milliamps so this is all about daniel cell then daniel cell ke baad resistance box if you see this resistance box it's a high value resistance box all the values inside the resistance box are 5000 2000 so 5000 to 1 ohm i mean combination you can make it 10000 also so this is the high value this is the low value resistance box if you go to see the values they from 0 to 500 ohms so this is all about second this is the key k1 and this is the key k2 so this is all about the apparatus now we need to start with the experiment now let's start with the connections daniel cell this daniel cell copper rod is positive zinc rod is negative so copper rod first of all positive comes to resistance you can see the resistance binding screws so you have to just give one turn here and make the connections okay then first only i'll remove some 5000 and k just in the beginning i'll tell you the reason why then what i do i take the second wire and i take it you can see the you can see your uh, circuit diagram and it goes to the galvanometer you can see the galvanometer here galvanometer so i have to connect it to the galvanometer so here from this resistance wire one goes to the galvanometer and one wire goes to resistance r2 later on we'll call it s then from here this is going to the key k2 and from key k2 and galvanometer these two wires are coming to key k1 so this is the circuit so again i repeat positive that is the copper rod positive comes here then from here one comes here to the resistance box and from here one resistance box comes to galvanometer one terminal from the resistance box r2 it goes to key and key k2 later on we we'll call it s key k2 and from here both these wires come to key k1 and that goes to the back to the battery that is the zinc rod so these are all the connections now we will start the experiment in the experiment i had just removed 4000 so let it be 4000 i have removed you will wonder why i am using a high value resistance box here and low value resistance box here you know very well that this galvanometer can manage current up to 1 milliamp maximum but actually the current flowing in the galvanometer mostly is in microamperes since it is a very small current we need to remove high value of resistances 
from this digestion box so that this galvanometer is safe and we get the proper reading. If at all we had to use a low value for this, then galvanometer pointer may get damaged because of full scale deflection. It will just go and hit the large scale. So let's start next. Next here, this is a low value. Now let's start with the experiment. First I remove 4000 ohms and when I remove 4000 ohms, I put on key K1. Remember one thing, when I put on key K1, K2 is off. This circuit is not there. Only the first circuit is there. When it is on, I get 20 as the observation. 20 is an even number and in my concept part, I have explained why we need an even number. So 20. Then I remove some value from here, say 50 plus 10. 60 ohms I have removed. So in fact, you have to remove 60 ohms. Means you, you have to remove the resistance in such a way that this marking that is the pointer shows exactly half of 20. Now what is half of 20? 10. So let's see whether I am getting 10. And I am getting division 10. So I got the first reading. So now think about it. When this was not on, the current was, full current was flowing in the galvanometer was 20 parts, 20 divisions. And when I put this here on, it becomes 10 means half of the current flows through this resistance and therefore it is divided into two equal parts current in this is equal to current in this then resistance of the galvanometer is equal to resistance which is shunt resistance so now we call it as a shunt resistance s because we got the reading of the galvanometer now the reading is resistance of the galvanometer is 60 ohms now what we do i remove 4500 so I remove 4500 and then I get, I remove this key K2. Remember first part key K1 is on, K2 is off. So key K1 is on and I get the reading as 18 divisions. Then I put on this. Remember this is constant resistance of the galvanometer. So I am not changing it. I put on this and I get exactly 9. Like this I take readings. For 5000, I get 16, then 5900, I get 14, and 6500, I get 12. Every time I don't touch this resistance box, because we know very well, resistance of the galvanometer is equal to resistance, which I have written here, which is a constant, and we get various readings. And then let us calculate. Now we found out the resistance of the galvanometer, it is 60 ohms, and then we will do the calculations for figure of merit as per the observation table. So now we have already taken the readings and we got the resistance of the galvanometer is 60 ohms and then we are finding figure of merit. You know the formula K is equal to E upon R plus G into theta. So we have to plot a graph. So we are plotting a graph of R1 and versus 1 by theta. Uh, in your graph page, I will. Uh, it will be better if you take 1 centimeter equal to 500 ohms on the y axis you will get accurate value of galvanometer resistance because this galvanometer resistance is uh, a very small value of 60 ohms on that scale. So it will be almost touching zero. So we should be able to see. So it should be below zero. So the graph of R versus 1 by theta is a straight line and um, that's all. Then you have to find the slope. Slope is, slope is E upon K. So K is equal to E by slope. E you know, you have found out E. One word upon slope. Upon slope is K. And we get K value from the graph. From the graph is 1.87487. Actually, we should take it as 1.88 into 10 raised to minus 5 ampere per division. That means it is 18.8 microamps per division. So if it is 18.8, let's say 19 microamps per division and 19 into 30, full scale deflection. So 19 into 30, so you will get full scale current in the galvanometer. So this figure of merit is an interesting experiment and we can find out how much current flows in a given galvanometer, how much is the maximum current flows in a given galvanometer. Uh, let us uh, really perform the experiment, it is successful experiment and you want to know more detail of conceptual part of figure of merit, 
please click the link in the description box and enjoy the experiment enjoy physics thank you very much